So the question as asked, how do I calculate the strength of an acid from pK values? Is there an equation for it? It also asks how to calculate the acid disassociation constant from pKa. So first we need to understand what pKa is. So pKa is very similar to pH or pOH in which the p in front of it is really a mathematical operator that is shorthand notation for the negative log. So you might have seen this in, in pH. So pH is the negative log of the concentration of protons, or H. So in this case, pKa is the negative log of the Ka. So what is Ka? Ka is the acid disassociation constant. So, if you are given a pKa, so if you're given the pKa is equal to, let's say, 10, you can find the Ka by taking the negative log of 10, which is equal to negative 1. So if your pKa is 10, your acid disassociation constant, or your Ka, is equal to negative 1. So if we went ahead and go ahead and look at board 2, we can see a, a table of pKa values. So up top, we have pKa values that are very high, so 50 for alkanes. At the bottom, we have pKa acids that are very low. In this case, for hydrochloric acid, we have a pKa of negative 7. So Hydrochloric acid is clearly a very strong acid. So what this tells you is a very low pKa means you have a very strong acid. A very high pKa means you have a very weak acid. In this case, you wouldn't even think of an alkane as an acid. That's because it's so weak, hence the very high pKa. Now, like what we saw earlier with the previous problem, if you have a pKa of 10, you have a, a Ka of minus 1. So if we looked at a table of Ka's, you'd see the inverse. So a very low pKa would result in a very large Ka, or very large acid disassociation constant. So a low pKa or a large Ka means you have a strong acid. A very high pKa we took a, the pKa of a very large number, like 50, you would get a very low Ka, which would give you a weak acid. So when comparing acids, remember that pKa, you can compare the strength of acids using pKa or Ka, depending on what you have. And really memorizing these values will help you. Of course, you can find the Ka is usually how it's given to you. You can find the Ka time by the products, the concentration of the products, raised to their stoichiometric coefficients, divided by the concentration of the reactants, raised to their stoichiometric coefficients. We can go to a new board. Occasionally, you will also be given a graph of pH values and time. And it may look something like this, right? So here you have the combination of a strong acid, strong base. Right here is the inflection point, or wherever the, the concentration of the acid is equivalent to the concentration of the base. So in this case, the concentration of protons is equal to the concentration of, we'll just say, hydroxide ions. And now right here, halfway between the inflection point and your start, this is the pKa. So there's a few ways to find it. This way is very uncommon, but I thought I would add it anyway. So to conclude, this is how you could find pKa from the Ka, and what does it mean as far as comparing strengths of acids.